in this video we'll add a product slider over here so this is existing e-commerce project code is available on github you can download from there so I've already set uh, include, uh, included bootstrap 4 in this project so we'll use uh, this bootstrap carousel uh, for that you can search for carousel I'll just go to this URL this is over here so what I will do is I will use uh, this this one with fade copy to clipboard so the project structure is like this so layout main layout for this front end is under layout main and here we are including all navigation and yielding content so here we have everything imported and compiled so I will uncomment this app.css which will import the bootstrap CSS for me and yeah, uh, since this is old project we are also using foundation CSS so that might break uh, things yeah, we will refactor these later on so, but for now I have included bootstrap 4 uh, now let's go to home.blade uh, actually it is uh, front home dot plate so this home dot plate is uh, this page and we'll remove this and add slider there so this section is responsible for that and let's remove that and I will add a product slider here actually we need to copy this and paste it so here uh, no image so this link won't work for dummy image we'll, uh, we'll use this placeholder this website for for posting any dummy uh, image so I will replace it with and let's see how it looks yeah so first slide second third okay so currently we are just using dummy and uh, to display um, product what we'll do is we'll loop through uh, product and then display it here so as you can see there is carousel inner and this is just to toggle things action buttons and we need to loop through uh, each item alright so let's so we deleted everything but one and here for each so we uh, we have this search variable coming from backend if we see front controller here uh, we are getting all search which is getting all products so we have access to all products and search as search and here we'll end the loop so instead of uh, loading this dummy image here we'll uh, we'll use the link to image so we'll use asset helper and here stories so this is a location of image in my case stories and then and then we can use sort image image so this is all stored in database if you are watching this for first time let me show you products Scott yeah image description name and here we'll show instead of first slide let's display product name all right let's go to front end and view this mm, looks like we broke something
okay so the reason that was not displaying is we need to add a uh, active class so what we did is first thing is we just take the three sort out of all sort and then loop through all uh, the, uh, those three and other thing is we have access to this loop uh, variable inside loop so we check if the loop is first first item so we always make the first item active so that's one thing we did other thing just text center image fleet auto and we have already the link to uh, image all right so that was what we did let's go and see refresh so this is what we see so it automatically switches although there are some so if user hits here so let's make it switch a little bit faster if you go to this carousel here are different options interval pause keyboard so we'll use this interval let's copy this and we got this carousel class and we target that we'll do that on main layout file so here under script uh, let's make it switch every one second save it let's go to let's refresh yeah so it's, it automatically switches all right so that was the quick video uh, i will see you in the next video bye